Hi guys, it's Daphne, your favorite broker from Remax. Join me today as we do a community spotlight at St. Ignatius Village. A lot of you may not be familiar with it, but it's something you have to check out if you're looking for investments, especially during this time. Okay, so we're at EDSA right now, turning right to White Plains Avenue. So this is one of the primest locations in Quezon City because where you see a lot of cars there are is approaching the Corinthian Gardens gate. Corinthian Gardens is one of the most expensive villages in Quezon City and they still don't allow riders to go in so they're waiting outside. So now we're taking you actually to an up-and-coming premium village but we are showing you why it's becoming so partly because of the whole Corinthian Gardens here and when we reach the intersection further down so as we approach the end of this one kilometer stretch at the end of this intersection if you turn right beside Corinthian Gardens is Corinthian Hills which is a smaller enclave but very prime as well if you go further down to the right after Corinthian Hills you'll get to Valle Verde 6 green meadows in Acropolis but for now we're going to turn left and on your left you will find White Plains and St. Ignatius. We'll take you first to St. Ignatius where we have several listings to show you around what the neighborhood is like. So now we're at White Plains Avenue. This is sometimes called Katipunan Avenue Extension because when you go all the way down it leads you to Katipunan Avenue where the, you will find Ateneo de Manila University, then Miriam University, and further down, the University of the Philippines. So while we're stopped, there's La Creperie, one of our favorites. So this avenue is tree-lined with lush, thick trees. And on your left is a stretch of where you can buy plants, pots and plants. So this avenue is known for that. They have a lot of vendors for greens. And you have food stops. Later on, we'll see more of that as we go along. So on your right, we're approaching the White Plains subdivision. We have several listings in this village as well. The prices have increased quite rapidly during the pandemic, surprisingly, because a lot of people suddenly wanted to invest in villages and White Plains was still one of the more affordable ones. And when the prices shot up, of course, people started looking beside it in its surroundings, which is St. Ignatius. So now we're showing you we're taking you with us today because we wanted you to get a feel of this neighborhood which is one of the more ex really exclusive and premium ones so as we continue on we have this cute drive through crispy cream and yellow cab so it's very innovative which they pivoted during the pandemic because it's a uh, easy to set up and convenient for the Mark uh, for the village around. We have 7 Eleven, Cha Cha Go, Spa, but they're not open anymore, I believe. So on your left, you'll see more plant vendors. You can take your pick, you can spend the whole afternoon choosing your plants under the heat. That's good though, right? For vitamin D3. <laughs> The end. So now we're approaching St. Ignatius Village. You have banks along this stretch. There's a lot of banks here. Security Bank, China Bank. Further down, there's BDO East West. Okay, BPI. So now there's also gas station. And now we're approaching St. Ignatius. And they've improved this a lot. Their guardhouse didn't used to look like this. And I tell you, their security is very strict. So this is the main road when we entered from the guard. We're going to turn right and take you around so you get to see the developments here in this village. It used to have all old houses but the landscape has changed over the years and quite fast also. Like for example this one is 
a newly built house this will probably finish soon from the looks of it and then they have wide roads and still a lot of trees which I really appreciate because not a lot of villages have this still older houses but again we'll show you that there's also a lot of new developments and projects that's transforming the look of this entire village for example this one is under construction and in Saint Ignatius they still allow duplex so here on the right is another one that looks fairly new and modern So now we're heading towards Fordham Street and look at this huge corner house. It reminds me of like a spa and lodge in Tagaytay. And on your right you will see the clubhouse and down below would be your community center. So we have several vacant lots for sale here ranging from 300 square meters to 400 plus square meters. Look at the there's a new modern house here as well. And then lots of construction ongoing. Some of the properties here are you have to check the terrain because they're also hilly like white plains. So for terrainous ones, you have to choose a good architect to do a nice layout. So along Fordham, one side on the right is perimeter to Boni Serrano and C5. It's a long winding road, this street. There are lots of... Whoop! Sorry about that. And here on the right side, beyond these houses, is Katipunan Avenue. New developments again. So this is what St. Ignatius is transforming into, slowly. I mean, not slowly, gradually. If you'd like to see this property for yourself, schedule a tour with your favorite broker today. Let's start finding your favorite home today. Follow us at Property Source PH on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell button to get notified when we release new videos.